And this beautiful song, Sam, what brings you to the care last week? Oh God of Gods, I bow in reverence. I am so, son of the great sage Atri and mother Anusuya. Daksh Prajapati cursed me, waning my radiance in a fit of rage. Please, have mercy on me, O Lord. This curse is the result of loving my wife Rohini more than my other wives and not giving them enough attention. <laughs> it's not a curse, but rather a boon song. Go to Krishna Mountain, where there is an ancient holy place. Go there and meditate. You shall be cured of the curse. O oh, great Mahadev, the controller of the universe, accept my salutations. Then right here at this place, so meditated for a thousand years and was freed of his curse. He regained his divine glow or Brahma. And that is how this place got the name Prabhas. But is this place of confluence of three rivers just a holy place? No. More than that, this place is representative of the Indian way of life. It is a place of the adoration of life, the philosophy of life, of soul and the Shiva, of the Har and Hari. It is the path that takes you away from darkness to light. This is the worship of that absolute power of which every human is a part of and whose soul echoes the message of Vasudev Kudumbakam. Oh, the world is one family. Since then it has been more than 7 crore 99 lakh, 25,100 years. According to the lunar Hindu calendar, in the bright lunar fortnight of the month of Shavu, in the Treta Yuga of Vaivasvat Manmantar, Son created a grand temple in gold for his beloved deity Sunna, which is a symbol of reverence, devotion and gratitude. The Sonnath Jyotirling is considered to be the first among the twelve Jyotirlings. Lord Shiv has twelve Jyotirlings. Sonnath in Gujarat, Malikarjun in Sri Salem, Andhra Pradesh, Mahakaleshwar and Omkareshwar in Madhya Pradesh, Kedarnath in the Himalayas, Triyambakeshwar, Bhima Shankar and Ghrushneshwar in Maharashtra, Vishwanath of Kashi in Uttar Pradesh, Nageshwar in Dwarka, Gujarat, Baidinath in Jharkhand, and Rameshwar located in Tamil Nadu.